Before we get into today's Chicago Bears rumors mailbag, go ahead and hit that sub button as we'll continue to bring you news, rumors around the Bears on a daily basis, answer your questions just like we're about to do, and turn on those notifications to all. After you subscribe, click the noti bell, then select the all button. Uh, that way, every time we publish a video, you get notified on your phone, on your mobile device, whatever it is, youtube.com slash bears. Now go ahead and subscribe today. You are watching Bears Now by Chat Sports, and I am your host, Harrison Graham. Let's answer all of your questions. Uh, so load them up, hashtag Bears or Super Chat. Chi-Town 65 says, Da Bears. Appreciate that. Uh, type Da Bears down in the chat. Good vibes to start today's mailbag. Wolf Rome 37, what's your way too early NFC playoff bracket? Oh, gosh. Seven teams. I'll say the Rams are the one seed, Bucks are the two seed. Um, I'll say the NFC East champs are the three seed, whether it's Dallas or Philly. I don't know yet. I'll say Green Bay is the four. I hate to say it. As of now, I'd pick them to win the division. And then I'll probably go... Oh, I don't know. Maybe New Orleans is a wild card team. Probably Arizona is a wild card team in San Francisco as well. Teams on the outside looking in, Bears, Minnesota. This is hard to do on the top of my head, but something like that. The top two are clear, Tampa and L.A. Beyond that, competition. That's why the Bears, hey, go out and compete so you, you can do. Jeremy Wayne, any chance for a J.C. Treader signing or Joby? I'd take either of those guys. I don't see Treader because it's pretty clear that this Bears regime views Lucas Patrick as the starting center. They're not going to, you know, three months after they signed him say, oh, by the way, we're going to move you to guard because we can sign J.C. Treader. If they thought about doing that, they would have done it two months ago. Uh, I expect Treader to sign and start somewhere, uh, but I don't think the Bears will be that team. Ogan Joby, listen, if he passes a physical one-year deal, six to eight million, I'm in. I, I would bring him to Chicago. I think he would help this defensive line, uh, but he's still out there. So we'll see what happens on that front. Johnny Blair, what are the chances that David Montgomery gets a contract extension? <sighs> I think less than 50-50 for before this season. After the season, probably 50-50, depending on how he plays. Running back's a less valuable position, but – uh, Monty's a leader on this team. He's a good player, underrated NFL player. I think it's a decent chance. I don't think it'll happen before this season, though. I think they're going to wait and see how this year plays out. So that leads me to this question. Will this be Monty's last season with the Bears? It could be. Type Y for yes, type in for no. I think it's 50-50. Get your votes in down below. Will this be Montgomery's last year in Chicago? Georgia Rebel, how much cap room do we have remaining? We have holes to fill. Depending on when you're watching this, somewhere in the $15, $16 million range uh, is kind of where they sit. It's a little fluctuated once you factor in rookie contracts and post-June 1 stuff. But, uh, yeah, they've got enough to, to sign a couple of key contributors if they still want to. Cabin Rudd, I think Bayless Jones is an underrated pick. Hopefully, I've grown on him immensely. I think the hype uh, is real, and now it's up to him to prove uh, the Bears right because – most teams had him as a fourth, fifth, sixth round pick. I don't think six, more like fourth or fifth. And the Bears took him in the third. So uh, I think he's an exciting type of player. Uh, let's see how that translates. Baylor Wiggins, position needs for next year, aside from receiver and O-line. I think linebacker will be one. I think edge rusher will be one, because I think if Robert Quinn's not gone this year, he probably will be next year. So I'd say linebacker edge, and depending on how much Cole Komet progresses, maybe tight end, and if Montgomery leaves, maybe running back. So a lot of positions that could uh, need some help next year as well. Matt Nagy, what's up, Coach? Will Matt Eberflus win Coach of the Year award during his tenure with the Bears? I did. You did, and then you did nothing else. Um, thanks, Nagy, in the comments. Get it going. Hopefully, if he does, that's, that's a great thing, but – as you proved, even if he does, doesn't mean it's going to work out. So we'll see what happens. Uh, in all seriousness, appreciate you for watching. 
Uh, be sure to follow us here on Colin, chatsports.com slash Bears Colin. You can download on iOS or Android. You can also type that link into uh, your desktop as well, and uh, it'll redirect you to Bears Now on Colin, audio social podcasting app where we go live every single week. Your chance to call in to me, ask questions. We can have a conversation back and forth about the Bears, NFL, anything else. Chatsports.com slash Bears Colin. Also, take a picture of the QR code if you're watching on a TV. Maybe you have an HDMI plugged in or you're just watching your fire stick, whatever. Chatsports.com slash Bears Colin. If you do the uh, QR code, it'll redirect you there, and you will be good to go. Uh, join us weekly over there on Colin, because during the season, we're going to do live post-game shows if we grow enough. Help us get there. we got about 230 uh, subscribers over there right now. Dylan V, would you trade Smith for Darius Leonard? Roquan for Darius Leonard straight up? Honestly, yes. <laughs> I like Roquan a lot. I think Darius Leonard's a little bit better, and Eberflus knows him more. So uh, would I? Yes, but I'm perfectly content with Roquan Smith. He's he's a beast too. Nicholas Ritchie, do you think Daz Newsom can play? I liked him at North Carolina. Um, the last regime apparently did not like him that much. That's why he didn't make the initial 53-man roster. I want to see what he does in minicamp, OTA, the rest of OTAs, and on into training camp. He'll have a chance to compete. But this regime did not draft him, so he's going to have to prove a lot. Jordan Eady, where do you think we will place of 32s? Oh, like out of 32 teams? I'll say between 20 and 25, probably 18 and 25. I think they could be a fringe knocking on the door of making the playoffs, maybe sneak in if a lot of things go right. That's probably the ceiling. The floor is, yeah, five wins, six wins. You'd be – you know, 25th, 26th, 27th best team. So maybe it's more like 18 to 27. Uh, but these these outlets saying they're going to be the worst team in the league, I just – I don't see it. I, I completely disagree. Who's going to win the division this year out of four teams? Not 32, four. Type GB or FGB if you think it's going to be the Packers. Type CHI if it's the Bears. MIN or FMIN if it's the Vikings. FDET or DET if it's the Lions. Get your votes in. Who's going to win the North this year? Nunu Johnson, Justin Fields over or under 600 rushing yards. If he plays all 17 games, I'll say over Nunu. He had 420 last year, and I think he ended up playing in 12 games, 13. Uh, I think 600 feels about right. Um, so it'll be close. I think anywhere between five and 700 makes sense if he starts all 17. Um, you know, and then the passing yardage, you know, I'd like to see him get in the mid 3,000s, 34, 35, 3,600 with five or 600 rushing. That'd be a great season. The prodigy of Fields would have been drafted by the Niners, would have started last year or this year, or still be on the bench. He wouldn't still be on the bench. Um, they're going to roll with Trey Lance this year, and Jimmy G just took them to the conference title game. So he'd for sure be starting by this year. The question is, would he have started last year? I don't know. I mean, the Bears are running a similar offense to what the Niners uh, – ran last year and beyond. That's what the Bears are running this year, something similar, that outside uh, running zone scheme. So maybe he would have taken over at some point. It's possible. A couple more here. Amos Goldberg, Justin Fields had a lot of wide receiver fault picks, and TD's called back. Matt drops in the end zone. His TD interception ratio is a lie. Yeah, there's some truth to that. Um, I think a couple picks were dropped too, so a little some of that does even out a bit. Uh, but, yeah, I think, you know, he pr easily could add 12, 13 touchdowns and more like eight picks. And I think if it was 13 to eight instead of seven to 10, probably be like, oh, you know, raw stats actually pretty decent despite playing for a garbage offense. Danger is Nelson Aguilar, a realistic free agent target if he gets cut. Yeah, if he gets cut, I think so. I don't think they'll trade for him, but if New England cuts him, I think that's definitely a possibility. Quinn for DPOY, uh, best coaching hire besides Eberflus. Um, gosh, I'm like drawing a blank. Who are the new coaches? <laughs> uh, help me out, guys, in the chat. Uh, who else hired coaches? Gosh, I feel like an idiot. Obviously, Hackett in Denver, Doug Peterson in Jacksonville. I kind of like that one, Super Bowl experience. Uh, gosh. Lo Lovey Smith in Houston for, for the memes, the beard. That's a good one. Uh, Miami. Oh, probably my – I like McDaniel in Miami. I like that one. I think he's going to do well there. All right, last one here from Tiger. Uh, go get Brandon Cooks. He signed an extension. Maybe trade deadline type of target, but 
he's not going anywhere right now. They're keeping him in Houston. All right, appreciate you guys for submitting all your questions. Be sure to subscribe. Join us weekly on call-in, chatsports.com slash bearscallin. That is chatsports.com slash bearscallin.